Imagine opening a box, only to discover that the state of its contents could change the course of physics as we know it. Welcome to the world of Schrodinger's cat, a paradox that dances on the edge of what we understand about reality. In the realm of quantum mechanics, tiny particles can exist in multiple states simultaneously. But what happens when we apply this quantum principle to something larger, like a cat? This is where Schrodinger's cat paradox comes into play. Born in the brilliant mind of physicist Erwin Schrödinger in 1935, this thought experiment is designed to challenge the Copenhagen interpretation of quantum mechanics, which posits that a quantum particle exists in all its potential states until observed, at which point it collapses into one state. Picture a seal box. Inside is a cat, a radioactive atom, a Geiger counter, and a vial of poison. The radioactive atom has an equal chance of decaying or not decaying, if it decays, the Geiger counter detects it, shatters the vial, releasing the poison, and the cat tragically dies. If it doesn't decay, nothing happens, and the cat lives. Quantum mechanics tells us that the atom is both decayed and not decayed, until someone checks. Meaning the cat is both dead and alive until observed? Sounds absurd, right? That was Schrodinger's point. He created this paradox to illustrate the bizarre implications of quantum theory when applied to everyday objects. How could a cat be both dead and alive? But the peculiarity of the paradox is precisely why it has sparked countless debates and discussions in the scientific community. The paradox poses significant questions about the nature of reality. If quantum mechanics only applies at the microscopic level, where does the boundary lie between the quantum and classical world? If it extends to the macroscopic, do we inhabit a superposition of realities until observed? Several interpretations have emerged to resolve the paradox. The many worlds interpretation proposes that each possible state of the atom corresponds to a different universe. In one universe, the atom decays, and the cat dies. In another, it doesn't, and the cat lives. The universes branch at the point of observation, avoiding the issue of the cat's simultaneous death and life. The Copenhagen interpretation suggests that it's the act of measurement that forces the atom into one state or the other. Until then, the atom, and by extension, the cat, is in a superposition of states, a blend of possibilities, Critics argue that this doesn't fully solve the paradox, merely relocates the problem into the act of observation itself. The third interpretation is quantum decoherence. It suggests that the interaction of a quantum system with its environment causes it to decohere into a single state, implying the superposition is destroyed before we open the box. Schrodinger's cat paradox is more than a peculiar thought experiment. It's a question mark that hangs over our understanding of the universe. Though quantum mechanics has proven tremendously successful in explaining the behavior of the microscopic world, the cat in the box reminds us that there's still much we don't understand about how these principles mesh with our macroscopic reality. Take a moment to ponder this. Are we not all a bit like Schrodinger's cat, existing in a blur of potentialities until the moment we decide to open our own boxes of reality? Remember, it's curiosity that opens the box. Until then, we're all just cats waiting for the lid to lift. Thanks a lot for watching till the end. Do hit the like and subscribe button. We are coming up with more interesting videos soon. See you soon.